Well, howdy, howdy, hey, my name is Ya, yeah, and welcome back to Sugar Style. Last time, it was our first day at school, and we went to, you know, the auditorium. We met our friend, our homie again. Um, for some reason, Kaname was on the front stage of the auditorium, and Kaoru is our professor. She's not just a dorm mother, she's a professor, apparently, and it was, like, kind of weird, kind of cool. Yada yada yada. That that was basically it. A little bit boring, but you know what, man? That's how it goes sometimes. There's some good ones. There's some bad ones. No, not bad ones, but like kind of boring, like the last one. And I'm sorry, I'm high on coffee, and it is 3:48. I'm not sleeping today, and I could feel my body and my soul dying. So let's just get right into it. Around dinner time, I wander into the cafeteria. Hair and Kaname, a rare combination, are watching television and chatting. Oh, welcome back! Sorry, but dinner's still not ready yet. Just relax for a while. She's talking so much like a mom. I savor the view of Itsuka's butt beneath her tied apron string as I put down my bag and sit down. You got very good- <clears> Hold <throat> on. I'm gonna do this right, okay? <coughs> you got very good taste. Oh, you think so? Well, maybe next time we could. What you talking about? Eep. The hair jumped like she'd just seen a ghost. Kanye turns only her gaze to me. We were just talking about clothes. Clothes, eh? Hmm. I can't offer much for this conversation. Surprise. She's surprisingly knowledgeable when it comes to current trends. That's so. I'd imagine her as someone who'd surrender her youth to tennis, but now that Kaname mentioned it, her does seem to have a solid fashion sense. Really? This. Don't get me wrong. Adorable in every right. Well, I was going to say, this outfit's not that good. But then again... I could totally see an LA girl dressing like this. Exactly in this outfit, to be honest. Like an LA girl. Or like some girl like, I came from Kansas and like, this is like my week outfit. In one week of LA, I I put this on. Found this at a thrift store and all that. You know what I mean? I could see that. I could see that a little bit. You on the other hand, yours is cute but like, no one wants to wear dresses nowadays unless they're going out. Like Kaname, you could pick up some lessons from hair. And is it weird? Like this right here. It, it's basically a boob window. L look at look at her. She's wearing a vest that goes under her boobs. It's like a window of like BAM! Boobs! <laughs> That's why like I could totally see an LA girl pulling this off. Because people in LA dress weird. Okay, they dress hella weird. That's why I don't like to go to LA. Like, East Los is not part of LA at all. It's not part of the city. We're part of the county, but not the city. Like, downtown, Chinatown, all that over there. Like, LA, they're, they're fucking weirdos. Hmm. Mm. Stop staring. Sorry, it's just like you have a boob window. She leans and tones with muscle, so I imagine a lot of clothes would look good on her. Raw denim seems popular this year. Oh, Kaname! Do you see like... Do you... <laughs> you do seem like the type of... Uh, the kind of girl to rock a nice pair of pants. Is that different from what you wore before? Also, what the heck is raw denim? Does not sound sanitary. What is raw denim? dress would fit you so well too it's like the ones that announcers wear i actually happen to own a floral pattern dress also lately i've taken to wear girly clothes lace bra blouses flared skirts that sort of thing oh i totally get that i totally i totally don't get that how about a subject i can talk about like ask me anything Asking about my sense of outfit. Now, to be honest, man, I suck at wearing clothes. Look at look at what I'm wearing. 
like because it's winter like going getting closer to winter this is like honestly my outfit right here exactly how i'm wearing it right now white shirt blue no gray shirt blue jacket well switch it for black because i bought a black one and like jeans that's basically my outfit fool like i i suck at um dressing you know like ask me anything Do you like buddy is she making fun of me why else would you ask such a super boring question May maybe a more thought-provoking question well you know what food is food that is a thought pro um provoking question like you know you could learn a lot like what kind of food you like like let's just say your favorite food is pizza you like eating a lot of pizza you like going to a lot of parties that serve pizza you know it's either that or like you're a tubby person that just eats it on their spare time. And it depends a little bit on how you look. If you look like, let's just say her dresses and you say your favorite food is pizza. You like to go out like either to a small gathering of friends or a large parties. Always an, you're like an outgoing person. You like to, you're an extrovert. If you're on the heavier side though... You know, you're an introvert, like stay in a lot, and you don't have any friends unless they're online. I know I'm roasting them, but it's like, come on. Come on. It's true. Well, mine's a burgers, and I'm a little tubby, so technically, so yeah, I'm an introvert that likes to eat, eat burgers on <laughs> inside. <laughs> I can't, I can't talk. I can't talk shit, you know? Maybe a more thought-provoking question. Hmm. Hmm. What's your type? You got a sadistic streak, haven't you, senpai? We're not talking about me right now. Time to fess up. I like girls who are cute, hot, and sweet. Huh? I'm sorry. I just don't know you that well, well yet. I wasn't talking about you. In the first place. I'm pretty sure there's zero chance of me ever describing her as sweet. There you are! There you are, new guy! Huh? Hey! Who, me? I didn't realize until she waved her hand in front of my face. The whole new guy thing has already gotten, gotten confusing. So I wish she goes for a different nickname. Someone's clearly got some time on his hands! I'm just in the middle middle of a pleasant conversation with Kaname and Hair. Which means you got time, right? Come here, it's sick. Go on and take him. Ow! Stop pulling at my ear! Given the way she's dragging me off forcefully, I'm pretty sure this is going to be annoying. Maybe she's going to make make me help her with something. You see, I'm in charge of laundry. But the too he he heavy. Help me carry it to the roof. Oh, come on. Wait, you gotta complain? Hell yes, I do. Whatever. This is not as bad as I thought, at least. Help me get it up there. Now I handle the rest. Please. This is... The thing is, I was supposed to do this a while ago, but I totally forgot. Fine, fine. You win. Hmm, wait, this light pink underwear on the top of the pile? Does this have everyone's laundry in it? Yeah, why? I knew it. Then I shouldn't be touching any of this, right? Things between her and I are already awkward. I'd rather not give her any more reasons to shun me. It's not good, seriously. All you gotta do is carry the basket up there and set it down. Mm. Uh huh. Don't tell me this stuff turns you on, new guy. Wink, wink, wink. What do you immediately? <laughs> why do you immediately go to that? Forget it. I'll just try not to look inside. I'm only carrying this basket for you. That's it. Thank you, thank you. Oof. 
It must have all been washed at once because the basket certainly is heavy. Today is looking to be pretty windy, so it should dry fast. I notice you and Mama are getting pretty tight. You think so? You came home together today, and there was a date too. It wasn't a date. I've never been downtown, so I just asked her to go with me. Sure sounds like a date to me. She was very insistent that it wasn't. Also, how did you even know about that? <laughs> Mao Mao was, a, was in a good mood, so I asked her why. You what? Did Mao call it a date? No, she didn't say it. <laughs> she didn't exactly say it. I'm worried about what kind of rumors are spreading behind my back. Well, a lot. Y'all know, you know why a lot? It's because you're in a, in a place full with girls. And like, unlike me, right? I'm not gonna say guys because I'm like, cat talk for everyone. But me, I don't like to gossip. I don't. But knowing my sisters, my aunts, my moms, and all the other girls in my experience, they talk behind, they talk, uh, they share everything. Even gossip. And I mean everything. There's some conversations that I've never wanted to hear. Never. Never. They talk about everything. Even sexual stuff. Sick stuff that I never want to hear again. Never. Never, bud. All right, back to the game. I am talking too much. I'm high on coffee, okay? And I'm a little bit sleep deprived. Okay, so don't blame me. Don't blame me. <laughs> I'm worried about what kind of rumors are being are spread are spreading behind my back. What did she say? <laughs> what? Nothing. What is with that shit eating grin? Whatever. Job's done, so I'm going back. And I made sure not to look inside. She smacked my butt like a perver- pervy old man. You're going to- <laughs> You know what? It's like, you're going to jail. But she did it to me! No, you're, you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Kids don't turn me on. Sorry. I know that difference from Mal Mal. Pretty darn different if you ask me. Dinner's gonna- It's not gonna be ready for a while. Why don't you help me finish up? I'll pass. I really can't help her anymore, so I would draw. If dinner still isn't ready, I might as well relax in my room for a while. Come to think of it, I still haven't finished unpacking. I should probably work through those through some boxes. Looks like this one's all clothes too. Oh, there it is. An article of clothing that was searching that I was searching for yesterday appears. Strange that I lose. <laughs> Strange that I lose something in such a small room, but I've actually had trouble finding stuff since the move. I've gotten into a bit of a habit of putting my wallet and keys on my desk when I <clears throat> when I get home, until I decide on a place to put them. I keep forgetting where I set them down. That same me, even though like I have a place to set them down, I I just like when I get home, keys wherever like bed. Desk, drawer, anywhere that's not where they're supposed to be. And I forget it right away when I need to leave the next day. Like, where did, where's my keys? Where's my wallet? Where is, I got like this little coin. It's like the armor of God coin. And I'm like, where, where is it? I'm freaking out, man. No, oh, I'm making a video. I'm not streaming. I can't talk. It took me a week or so, but I did eventually work things out. Oh, my nail clippers. I often lose little things like this. Typically not the sort of thing I urgently need, but the kind of stuff that annoys you when you need it but can't find it. I also discovered my personal spoon and mug. Might as well leave these in the cafeteria. Ah, this box is so light. It's got to be the box full of porn that I had Mal bring in. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know when I need this, but I might as well open it now. Excuse me. What? M Mao? Mao, perfect timing. Dinner's ready. He's in his room, right? I thought he was at least. This is bad. I better hide this quick. I shove it. I shove it all in this drawer. Uh, uh, get in. Get in there. Hello. Are you in there? Dinner's ready, you know. Oh, I can hear you. Thank you. I'm coming in. Wait. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. My foot catches on the steam of the tata mat, sending me falling forward towards the door. Eef. The contents of the box flies out everywhere. You are... That, that's hard to explain. Th this isn't what it looks like. Jeez, don't just jump off your door like that. You scared me. Oh. They know. They know. <sighs> Shit. 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 How do you explain this? How? Comment down below. How would you explain this? You dropped all your porn on the floor. First of all, who keeps CBDs anymore, man? They're all on the phone for free. Like every single one. They're on your phone now. It's like you have a computer. You have a smartphone. You have a laptop for Christ's sakes. And you know you're addicted if you have like physical copies. I'm sorry. You're, you're addicted. Look at her. She's pissed. Or she's like, oh, no. Or, and this one's like, I'm traumatized for life. Ah, fuck. Alright, hold on. As Mel picks up one of the scattered videos, her smile quickly fades. So, someone must have stuck those into my boxes! Well... Uh... uh I gotta bleach my brain. Uh, Iska picks up another. Her expression darkens. The t crazy time I tried to sex up my younger friend? Dude, and she's the younger friend. You can't explain shit. Ah, look at this one too. They're all fetishizing younger girls. No, I swear that's just a coincidence. So, see, in this one, they're the same age. Th that's not any better, my dude. This girl on that one sure looks like you, no? Uh huh. There's no explaining at all. Your reputation down. I'm sorry. There's if this wasn't like a dating like visual novel that you end up with one of these, you know, like the whole game is just trying <laughs> you trying to be like, hey, I'm different now. That that was the old me, the one back then high school, you know. <laughs> uh, is that what you think about when you look at me? It's all misunderstanding. How how is that? How how is that? Like, they're not that far apart, and she's not. You know, they're all legal. I think. No, they are. They're just a uh, like, like her. Like I'm 22, right? She might just be 21. Like that, or at least 18. Like legal. How how is that pedophile? Unless it's like. <laughs> Unless this dude has the lollicon, then yeah, you're 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 fucked. They're be like, stay away from America, <laughs> pedophile. Wait, wait, that's not true at all. I got over that phase a long time ago. That that that's not. I'm gonna switch it up because I feel like something got lost in translation. Lollicon. That's what he says. Now I'm totally into mature girls. Yeah. Yeah, no one believes that. Uh, but wait, seriously, I'm not... Everyone calm down. I swear, Mal. I don't oogle you every chance I get. I know. Check my phone. No. 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 <laughs> Stop it. So I know I'm like, I should keep reading, but it's like every time I'm like, stop it. What are you doing? I can't. 
I'm sorry, like Pot of Quail, like the main character, I agree. Like, you mean, even though like I could see myself being that guy, this guy, bruh, you don't show anyone your phone. If you have that and your gallery, if, okay. If they see all the sexy pictures of other girls in my gallery, that should be enough to reach your mouth. No, stupid. Huh? What's this? Ah! Uh, um. <gasps> oh, a delicate pink garment comes out of my back pocket along with my phone. Erica. That's my underwear. <laughs> Fuck. Erica, get your ass in here. Er like, if this was me, not even looking at them, I go up to the roof. I drag that girl, drag her, and be like, clear my fucking name. My underwear? What? What the hell was Miles' underwear doing in my pocket? You're hood. You're hood. Hold it. My brain can't even keep up with what's happening. Oh, I know. This must happen when I was carrying the laundry. What do you do with our laundry? We you have to mine too? No, Erica asked me to help. That's it. Erica must be behind this. Yeah, no shit, dude. Go drag her. Just drag her. Like, seriously, man. Drag her. Uh, clear your name. Seriously, man. Anything to clear your name at this point. Do what you gotta do. Drag her. Be like, she's the one that did it. Now tell them. That that would be me, bud. She did this when she was patting my ass. I, I thought you were a good person all this time. I was so happy that I finally made a friend with a guy. You were terrible. Only a pervert who steals a girl's underwear. She full on hates me now. I know. I, I'm bad at crying. Oh, you made her cry. No. Stop it. Stop. There's no way. Hey, what's with all this noise? He stole Ma's underwear. He did what? I hate you. Fuck. Fuck. Finally, even Kaname and Kaori joins in. Wow, what's the final point? <laughs> wow, what's the final point? Dude. You'll never know just how much I love boobs. Much I do about fucking. Fascinating. Did you really have to read that title out loud? Yes. How do you even come out, like, getting one of these girls? If this was real life, you get kicked out. Look at her. She has a cross right there. Like, like, <laughs> she's going to pull that cross. Like, man, the, the power of Chris compels you. Like, slaps you with the fucking cross. How, how do you even, at this point, salvage your reputation? There's no way. At, at this point, this guy's, this guy's, this puto's whole career. His whole living situation is fucked. They would throw him out of the curve. <laughs> They'll put him in the shame box. The same way we saw Mal earlier. Oops, maybe I went too far. Damn you, Erica. <laughs> Don't feel so down. At least now you got a better nickname, Perth. You're one to talk. Uh, I'm sorry. I need her to clear this up for me now. Well, the panties, yes. The porn, that, no one's going to help you with that. I'm sorry, man. Not even me. Not even me. I can't help you. Like, seriously. What are you doing in this situation? Like, the panties, yes. Right? Drag Erica. Clear my name, like, right now. But everything else. Everything else. You're fucked. There, there's no way. There's no way, my dude. There's no. 
I need her to clear this up for me right now. <coughs> Mel, stop crying, please. There stares, cold and sharp as Icicle stabs into me. Yeah. I think the only one that doesn't look too horrified at you is her. Like, if you don't... If you take away the gray right here, like the gray blue, and she has this, just this face, you'll be like, Oh, I can't really add a kink. Ooh, he could be right for me. But no, everyone's horrified. Stop! Don't look at me like that! Look, I don't want to make one thing clear. This is not my fault! My luck today can possibly get worse. <laughs> you get a call from your parent. You get a call from like the cops or something. I'm sorry to inform you. Your parents are dead. <laughs> you get a doctor like, I'm sorry to inform you, but you have an incurable disease. The news report. I'm sorry to inform you, ball, but there's a meteor going to destroy the earth. You know what? It could get worse. It could. You know what could get worse right now? They kick you out. You know what could get worse right now? If they all slap you or hit you in the balls. It could get 10 times worse. I don't know what the fuck. All my life, I've strived to endure, ensure that every new meeting gets off on the right foot. How's that working out, pal? How's that working out? When I'm introduced to someone, I greet them with a smile and make harmless small talk as I gradually build up an affable relationship. And I've done well at it. If I do say so myself, it's a solid approach. However, it's all falling apart with these girls. I'm doomed to be labeled a perv. How do you <laughs> The rest of the game. The rest of the game. You're trying to get them like, I'm not a pervert. And it's like, we don't believe you. Because, you know, of all that porn and the underwear you stole. That was Erica. No, you stole it. <laughs> there, there's no clearing this up. There's none. There's no fucking way. There's none. How did I get the mouth out? I didn't even pick shit. What? Is this game like... Oh... Yeah, you get to play all the routes, and we go back in an end loop. For right now, you go down the mouth route. Next time, we go back to this point, and you go down the, the hair route, and so on and so on. <laughs> That's stupid. You should be able to pick what wife you want. But you know what? If my calculation is correct, then it will be super easy for me to go back. Like, instead of, like, going back to a save or something, I could just go down one route. And like ended, then it just bounced to a new. That would be fucking good because you don't know how. You know what I normally do? What I normally do? Well, let me save the game because I'm ending it here. Like normally, I would save the game, right? Save it right at this point. Play whatever route, or like save it at a at a decision, right? Or go whatever route. Then when that's done. Load back into that save and like play it like that. Choose a different one. And it is horrible to keep up when there's so many decisions. Like with Riddle Joker, you know how there were so many decisions in like the first part and I couldn't keep up. You know what I mean? It was horrible. And like making lovers was like, there's like what? You get like six decisions, but each one is like a, a little bit different. And like, if you didn't save it, and if you didn't save it for whatever reason, at whatever decision, you were, f uh, you had to go back to like another save, which was maybe, or even start a new game and just speed along from there. Uh, which one was the hardest for me? The hardest one to ever do that was... I gotta say, it was um, a thin real enigma with like doing, and with thin real enigma, like I was stupid. It'd be like, 
like um when I did the filler, like the filler was like all the other routes that weren't canon for my route, right? And it would be like, and I would do them all separately. I'd be like, oh, we're gonna go down, you know, um, Ir- Erlin, um, Minami, and fucking what was that fool's name? Oh, I don't remember the ter- the guy's name. I remember all the girls. But not the guy. Ryuji? Um, Sora. No, what was his name? <sighs> I don't know. He was poor and was like, You could have filled me, Mina. You know what I mean? <sighs> I gotta play Denver Enigma now. <sighs> anyway. It'll, it'll pop up right now. I am playing it. What the fuck? I should know his name. I'm playing it. Dude, it's 4 a.m. And I had coffee. I can't think right now. Anyway. Um, I'm going to end there. Why? Because it's a good place to end it. And we'll start Mal's route. Which is basically... Look. It says Mal's route. So basically... I don't get a choice. You're going down Mal's route. <laughs> okay, so... So next episode, so tomorrow or like whenever this video comes out, because I am, I'm probably going to be dead, tired, coffee's not helping. So yeah, whenever the next episode comes out, come, come by with me, man. Come, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the bell notification. Alrighty. And also, make sure you tell your homies, like, hey, this guy's a weirdo, and he does weird voices. Come, come, come follow him. We're at follow him. Let's get to, let's get to 60 subscribers. We're at 50 what? We're at 57. Let's get to 60, my dudes. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this is Gap saying farewell. And as always, my beautiful people, and as always, <laughs>